Hi friends, Miss Lofty's here with another social emotional learning read aloud for you. Let's start like we always do. Get your clapping hands ready so we can do our come to the group song. Everybody come sit down, come sit down, come sit down. Everybody come sit down just like me. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands just like me. Everybody pat your knees, pat your knees, pat your knees. Everybody pat your knees just like me. Everybody wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. Everybody wave your hands and let them quiet be. Very good, friends. All right, next thing, you know what to do. Let's do our listening rule song. So you remember what to do with your body while Miss Lofties is reading the, les the story. Eyes are watching, ears are heard. Eyes are watching, oh my good lord. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen at group time. At group time. Very good, friends. All right, so this week in second step, you guys have been talking all about self talk. Now, that's kind of a funny word, but you've been learning what it is. You remember that self talk means saying things quietly to yourself to help you keep focused and positive. It can help us remember what we're supposed to be doing. It can help us to keep doing something that's kind of hard or maybe we don't really like it. And it can help you to control your body and keep safe, keep that calm body at school. Let's find out what this book is all about. Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. It's written by Kimberly and James Dean. Oh man, look at Pete the Cat's face. Can you make a sad face like Pete the Cat? Pete the Cat did not feel very happy. Pete had never, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. Poor Pete. Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, those cool blue magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you to see things in a whole new way. That was quite the froggy voice he had. Pete put on those cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. He said, the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses, and he went on his way. And soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. He has a frown too. What's wrong, Squirrel? asked Pete. I'm so mad, said Squirrel. Nothing's going my way. I only found one acorn today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you to see things in a whole new way. And then he helped Squirrel think of some self-talk. So they tried it together. Can you guys try it? With me and Pete and Squirrel, we're going to say keep looking three times in a quiet voice. Here we go. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. So Squirrel put on those cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. Awesome, he said. The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and he continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did 
did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete asked. I'm so frustrated, said Turtle. Nothing is going my way. I am stuck upside down today, Pete said. Try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you to see things in a whole new way. So Pete gave Turtle the sunglasses and then he helped Turtle use some self-talk. Let's help them together. Let's say, keep trying, keep trying. Let's say it together three times in a quiet voice. Are you ready? Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Good job helping Turtle with his self-talk. Turtle put on those cool blue magic sunglasses and he used the self-talk and he looked all around. Far out, the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. Pete kept rolling along until he saw Alligator. Alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, Alligator? Pete asked. I'm so sad, said Alligator. Can you make a sad face with Alligator? Very good. Nothing is going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They'll help you to see things in a whole new way. And then he helped Alligator with some self-talk. Let's help Alligator too. Let's encourage him by saying, keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. So Alligator used his self-talk and he put on those cool blue magic sunglasses and he looked all around. Can you look all around with Alligator? Very good. Rockin', the birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and I'm feeling all right. And take a look. Alligator used that self-talk and he did keep asking people to play. And who do you think it was that he asked to play next? If you said Pete, you were right. He asked Pete to play. And what did Pete say? That's right. He said yes. And they played together. This self-talk really worked. Pete was rolling along and feeling all right when suddenly... He fell back. The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh, Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. Just then, Pete looked up at the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a whole new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Use your self-talk and you will know what to say. Oh. Oh, so maybe Pete didn't need those glasses after all. So guys, I think Pete might need our encouragement. He might need us to help him with some self-talk. He's been helping everybody else so far. So Pete's feeling discouraged because his sunglasses broke and he doesn't know what to do to feel better. But maybe if he keeps playing with his friends, that can make him feel better. When you're feeling really sad, sometimes if you play with some friends or some toys that are really fun, it can make you feel a lot better. Let's encourage Pete. Let's tell him, keep playing, keep playing. All right, let's say it three times quiet. We're going to help him with his self-talk. Keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. And Pete looked around without those sunglasses. And he said, too cool. The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, and we're feeling all right. So I want you guys to think about something and maybe leave me a video about it. Did Pete need the sunglasses to get up and keep going even when things were hard? Hmm, I'm thinking he really just needed some self-talk and a positive attitude. So if you guys can leave me a video and tell me what is some self-talk that you can use when things are hard for you? What's something you can quietly tell yourself? All right, guys, see you next time.